Hello, Mike from Build It Tune at EV here. Today we have our new uh, 2022 Super 73 Mojave. And uh, as some of you guys have may have noticed following the channel that we have this bike converted with a 72 volt battery and the phase runner. Um, one of the most commonly asked questions in the comments was uh, whether it would work with 48 volts, 52 volts, how it would respond, how the torque would be. So today we have just that for you. So to my right, we have a 48 volt battery and to my left, we have a 52 volt battery. I've been equipped in the bike already. We have the 72 volt battery. So I'm going to detune to make it fair, the controller to a thousand watts so that we know each one of these batteries is capable of producing the wattage. Um, so we're gonna limit the controller to a thousand watts, no field weakening, and then we're gonna fit each battery. So I have behind me here a custom adapter that I made, um, and this just is going to allow me to slide this battery in and then connect it into the controller. And then this battery here has an XT60 already. And then I already have here an XT60 to XT90 adapter. So yeah, this is a little bit confusing. However, I basically have the adapters that are needed in order to be able to test all these batteries to one controller. Um, you may have batteries that all interchange with the same um, actual base. If so, then you can just change them yourselves or whatever you want to do. But today I'm testing three different batteries in order to see the voltage difference on this specific controller and what you may want to use when you're upgrading your bike. So we're going to test them all again, a thousand watts, different voltages, and we're going to test them from zero to 20 miles per hour. So we have a device on the bike that's outfitted here. It's an actual device, not just an app. And this is called the Draggy. So this has an internal GPS that's been upgraded specifically for data logging and testing purposes for quarter mile, eighth mile, 60 foot, zero to 60, and even some of the stopping parameters. So we're gonna utilize this device along with the battery changes today to figure out if there is any differences between the 48, 52, or 72 in acceleration between zero to 20, or if it's just the top speed so that you can decide which battery you wanna go with on your build. So follow along. I'll put it down in the sections and we'll have a 48, 52 and 72 volt breakdown and we'll see which one comes out on top. So All right, so we're going to test the stock performance of the RX Mojave. All right, guys, one of the things that I really wanted to go over here so that everybody is in clear understanding of what we have going on. Um, so what I've done here is uh, I have a screen capture of the Phase Runner Suite software. Um, please keep in mind these are not the tuning parameters for the motor. I'm just using this to show you how this controller works so that you understand how the test is being performed. Um, so what we're doing here is this controller uses two limits. We have a battery limit and then we have a motor limit. And this is unique and cool because what it allows us to do is make sure that we're always achieving the same wattage despite the input voltage. Um, and what that means is that, so we can limit the battery to 30 amps, which means no matter what battery we're using, the max output will be 30 amps. And then we could set this at say 1500 like we did. And what'll happen is on a 48 volt or a, 52 volt controller, you're going to see it use up that amperage. And here we'll uh, bring this into play here so you can see it. So, right, if we are on a 52 volt pack and we times that by 30 amps, you see that we basically are at the 1560. So, in this case, it's going to limit it because it doesn't, you know, we're only targeting 1500 watts. So, it's going to run something around 29 amps. But let's run that same equation now on the 72 volt pack. Um, so 30 amps, or excuse me, let's go 1500 watts divided by the 72. Now you see we only need the 21 amps. 
So as you can see, with the higher voltage battery, we're actually running less amperage. And that's why you're going to see these packs have similar performance here. So what's going to happen is the 72 volt pack is going to run less amperage to get the same results. The 52 volt will run a little bit less and the 48 volt will run all in. Um, so this is not a test of what this controller or each battery is 100% capable of. This is the difference if you were to set your controller at 1500 watts and only use that, what those batteries could do. Uh, the reason I'm using this is that somebody that has the stock battery or a smaller 48 volt battery or a 52 volt pack can see what the difference is going to be on a more moderate stock power setting. Obviously we can go up from here. You might have this, the next person may have this. This is a generalized statement so that we can kind of conduct a test and see what the difference is between these batteries. Um, what you're going to find is that it's pretty minimal, um, but obviously as you watch the rest of the video, you'll be able to see that and understand that. Um, and then we have here is the phase current. So this is motor current. So this is the amperage that's going directly to the motor. This is the amperage coming out of the battery here. Um, so each one of these tests will be performed with 90 amp phase limit, and then there'll be tests with a 30 amp battery limit and at 1500 watts. So I appreciate you guys watching. I just wanted to kind of go over that and you'll be able to see the overlay and the amperage of each pack. And then this will help you better understand the video that you're watching. All right, so here we're testing the 48 volt pack. We're going to be doing the 0 to 20 and the eighth mile test. So you'll be able to see here on screen as well that the voltage is fully charged in the 40, 48 volt pack. We're at 53 volts and uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch it now. is the eighth mile test 48 volts all right now we're testing the 52 volt pack 0 to 20 and eighth mile so we have it at uh, about 57 and a half volts almost fully charged uh, but it's it's there ready three two one All right, and for the final test, we have the 72 volt pack, which we have charged to 82 volts. We're going to go ahead and give this a launch now. We'll do the same 0 to 20, 0 to 30, and the eighth mile test. So. <clears throat> the final test here is I put the bigger tune back on the 72 volt battery and I'm going to give this a test. So. That's a little bit of a difference. So yeah, I would say to anybody that's uh, looking to really take advantage of what the controller can do, I would uh, 
I'd be going 72 volts and, and unlocking it. To be fair, I'm sure some of the other packs would still do okay, but obviously 72 volts is really where it's gonna get it done. Guys, that wraps up another episode of Build It Tune at EV. Today we went over the 48 volt, 52 volt, 72 volt comparison. What did we find? We've definitely found what you guys probably already expected. The 72 volt came out on top. Uh, not a crazy result. Um, you know, there's a slight difference between the 48 and the 52 being slightly quicker. And then the bump up in the 72 volt was a little bit more than that. Um, remember, we limited the power to 1500 watts. So in the controller, tuned it 1500 watts and then limited the battery to 30 amps. I did this to keep it fair so that each one of the batteries was easily capable of producing the power. And we got a fair comparison for the stock motor and maybe where some of you feel more comfortable running the factory motor. <clears throat> so just got a comparison between the 0 to 20 mark, 0 to 30 mark, and then the eighth mile mark between all three voltages. And then we should have the overlay from the screenshot uh, video from the phase runner software. And then we should have the draggy video as well. So you should be able to see the power they ran and as well the times, the corresponding time for each one of those tests. <clears throat> all in all, I definitely personally prefer the 72 volts and I really can't wait to get the new pack that I'm building on here and the new setup. But for now, I'll be keeping the smaller pack. But as you can see, the 52 volt pack still and the 48 volt pack still can run the bike maybe not just as ideally as the 72 volt but if you want to get the controller for now and then make it work obviously it's you know it's definitely rideable and very doable and you can kind of get into maybe tuning the controller some adding some field weakening playing with the max amperage of the factory battery and, and kind of going from there so <clears throat> Um, but today that kind of concludes our test between the 48 volt pack, the 52 volt pack, and the 72 volt pack, and gives you an idea of what power they're capable of and the differences that they do produce. So hopefully that clears up some of the questions that you guys did have in regards to which one you should get. Um, there are some tank style batteries you can get in 72 volts or 7, uh, 20S. Um, the hard cases are available as well if you know a builder you can get some quality cells and build it so it is capable to have a factory looking bike with this controller have the ranger looking for and the speed so i appreciate you guys watching please let me know in the comments what more you want to know about the super 73 if you guys want to see the top speed difference between each one of these packs drop that in the comments below so that i know what videos to make next and as always i appreciate you guys watching